this is the base that Elvis came to to get his army haircut and more. So friends, I've already put out the video of me going in the barbershop right here where Elvis got the army haircut. Now we're going to go in the barracks. Check it out. Soldier Story was filmed here. The Tuskegee Airmen was filmed here. And Matthew Broderick, Biloxi Blues. I always thought that this was filmed in Biloxi because there's a base there. I think it's Air Force in Biloxi from my memory. But it was actually filmed here, which is pretty cool stuff. And they have a, uh, a lot more things here that are related to the base, not just Elvis history. Things like, uh, you mentioned these Vietnam uh, refugees. That was 1980? 75. 75, okay. So in the, the mid-70s. They were brought here. That's a junior ROTC. Hurricane Katrina people. They had some fires here in 2008. Luckily, it did not get this building, but it did get a lot of other stuff. And then they have, look at this switchboard right here. Isn't that amazing looking? That's back in the days when everything was done by hand. Now it's all done by computers. And there's the switchboard. Look at that. Isn't that interesting? Those are very similar to your guitar plugs. It's just a little smaller. Guitars are quarter. I think those are eighth. But they still use this type of connection in studios. Uh, if you look over in the rack where they're jumpering out uh, outboard gear, they use that same setup that looks just like this, tip ring sleeve type things. That's very, very cool stuff. The camp was named after the man known as the father of armor in the United States Army Major General Adna Ramanza Chaffee. So now you have a little bit more of the story. In World War II, 6th Armored Division. So you said Elvis was, he was the 5th Armored, right? And 3rd, am I remembering that right? I remember seeing this on a uniform, 5th Armored Division. The 5th? Conducted basic training here for several years. Okay. They were stationed here, permanent party, and conducted basic training for years. So, friends, this is a display they have, and you can see it says his number was US 533-10761, and that's Elvis was here. That that happened here. That happened here. This coat that you see him wearing. This is a barracks that is across the way. I'm going to t go over there. I don't think we can get in, but I'll show you where it was. But you see what I was talking about. You see there's no conduit past that light. It was definitely that last chair right there. These photos all happened right here. Yeah. Amazing stuff. Yes, indeed. Make sure you come check this place out. They're very nice, very accommodating. And you want them here, right? Absolutely. Is that okay? Everybody come see the, where Elvis got his hair cut. Yeah. One thing we're really proud of, American veteran. He was an American veteran, and it's just an honor to be a part of that legacy. That is a fact. Elvis was a real, true American. He served his country when he didn't have to. When he didn't have to. Amazing. He was a superstar. He got a draft notice, but he was going to do his duty. He did do it, too. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. Thank you. So, friends, this right here is the barber shop. And the barracks that Elvis stayed in is that barracks right there, upstairs. I don't think we can get in, but we can walk over there and look. Stay tuned. Yeah, I see stairs right here. To this yeah, right here, right through that door. He said he may have to unlock it. Okay. Yeah. So this would have been Elvis's barracks up here, those photos. And so they're remodeling all of this. Yes, it's being restored. Very nice. So those photos happen in this room right here. Amazing.
Yeah, when I saw him pull up, I thought, I wonder. <laughs> yeah, I was in front of the building. Uh, your building taking pictures. Wow, this is crazy. So let me find that photo real quick. And see, if you look in these photos, you see that there's a bump out from each window around. So I want you to see that there's where the bump out was. You see the wall came out like that. Now, why? I don't know what was in that unless it was... Was, so there was lockers in the walls then. So there's Elvis sitting in front of one of the lo wall lockers. Now, which one, we don't know, but there's not many. It's definitely one with the window. So it's that one, or it's that one, or it's that one, or it's that one, or it's that one. Or on this side, I wish I could see out the window and tell more about it. It's that one. Or that one, or that one. But you can see what he's talking about. There's wall lockers, and then there was, down at the bottom, there was drawers. When I was in the Air Force, we had drawers like that in ours, but they wouldn't let us put anything in them. Let me look at the details of this picture. There's something in the back that may, so this would be going out. This would be like a, a fire escape, and the barbershop is right there. Yeah, it happened in this room right here. So it could be any of these, honestly. Yeah. And then the bathrooms are back here. Yeah, they, they covered the door over. But this would have been the showers. Oh, okay. Some, one of the showers is still here. So back then, friends, there was no, you see it was double, not much privacy other than the, the toilets. But you in the military, you belong to them. They don't care about privacy. They care about you getting the job done. This would have been sinks on this side, three toilets and the shower back there. Looks like sinks here as well. No urinals here. So, yeah. Yeah. So, this shower would be probably that vintage. Interesting. Lance, you made it happen, my friend. Hey. I pre appreciate it. Happy. What's sir, over here? TI's uh, office or? Well, there's, this is where the floor is still damaged and it may not be stable yeah. through there. That's so there was a TI's office here, maybe? That would have been like a squad leader yeah. office or, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can see where this would have been squad leader exactly because it was still had yeah. the. They would have been a couple of bunks in here. That's so right. It would have been a barracks. Yeah. And I don't know if Elvis was squad leader or not, but it's a possibility. Well, here he was a private. Yeah. He, had, he was just starting. Okay. Okay, so you're right. But see, when I was in the Air Force, yes. uh, we had people that were, oh, yes. that were in here that they would vote to be the squad leader. Well, yeah, we, yeah, like I don't a, know that we would call him a squad leader, but kind of a temporary leader. Yeah, yeah, you're right. And uh, so we would have had that to get down. The fence. You know, I, could, I flew the drone over there, but I couldn't. I couldn't get over there by hand. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. So this is the place that Elvis stayed. It would have been upstairs. The haircut place is right over there. Very very cool. Right here. So this chapel right here, you see that steeple in some of the videos with mm -hmm. Elvis.
Friends, I'm going to show you a picture of the barber shop and his uh, barracks. Line, the barracks lines up with this barracks, but it's further down. It's several down, but look at this picture. Something in this picture that sticks out is you can see the steeple. Now, that building is still there. You can see all the windows are not in it anymore, but it looks like a similar building. But he's standing beside a building that would have been right here. You can see that at one time, there's part of the front. There was a building here. So he was standing somewhere. I'm going to say about where this manhole cover is, real close to it. Somewhere like that. Depending on where the back of the building was. And I would say that that building, the back of it, may have been one of them, and they just added those garages. So figured the back of the building was here. So Elvis would have been somewhere like right where I'm standing right now. Yep. Somewhere like that. So there was a building here at one point. And evidently this was a parking lot. You can see all the cars were in this lot right here. Yep. Then I saw something over here I thought was pretty cool. I'll run up in here real quick and look. There's a helicopter here. And it looks like whoever's flying is really smiley. It looks like a female. Two females. Night vision. Well, you don't want one of these things coming after you. I think this is an Apache, isn't it? Larry Moore, decorated Vietnam veteran and dedicated sportsman, 1948-1992. And the wind is trying to turn the prop. That's pretty cool. Oh, this is a Cobra, AH-1 Cobra. That doesn't look like that one there. I don't know. See, like the one in this picture when it was built in 67 Arts Play Aircraft, tail number was built by Bell. It was designed, designation AH-1G. So it's a little different. Yep, that is a Cobra. Interesting. And then this is a M106A2 tank. Very little. And whenever I think of the men that worked on these things to protect our country, all I can say is tanks a lot. And they would drive looking through that like a periscope. Yeah, interesting. Vietnam Veterans of America. So these were pieces of artillery and machinery that would have been used in Vietnam. That, that It looks too modern for Vietnam era to me, but it's pretty cool. And the spot that I was pointing at was right there. It's right across from Fort Smith Coffee Company. So I just wanted to show you, as far as having an Elvis festival here, look at this stage. There's a stage here. There's bleachers. That right there is where Elvis stayed, and the barbershop is in that parking lot right there. So there's parking over here. There's parking over there in the parking lot. And they're going to make it where we could stay upstairs, which will be really cool. Yes, it will. And if you're new to this channel, Adventures of the Spy Guy, I have more than 600 Elvis videos. And don't forget to check out my sidekick, Globe Trotting with Trey. He has over 150. And we both focus on true Elvis stories and what really happened. So if you want to support this effort, make sure that you subscribe, like, and then join. That helps us to get more videos out there. Yes, it does.